Mr Agnew, please. Thank you, Chairman. We're talking about the unfair trading practices legislation, and, and Mr Valletti, or Dr Valletti, or Professor Valletti, I, I don't want to insult you, uh, just outlined how complicated this is uh, once you scratch the surface. And you also made the very good point that some suppliers actually might welcome a promotion because they've got a brand new product and they want to get in front of the public and one way of doing that is to subsidize it uh, for a short period. Uh, I've been lobbied really very heavily on this topic by both retailers and processors. And the retailer's story is that they're, they're unfairly victimized. They point to very large profits that processors make and they think that the processors are going to take advantage of this legislation to beat them, the retailers, with a stick. The processors, on the other hand, say that uh, if they try and uh, get a higher price for their product, the supermarket will just delist them because the supermarkets, the retailers, know that the processors have nowhere else to go. So there are both these people lobbying me uh, with, with, with their point of view on this, so it obviously isn't that straightforward. Uh, now, the Commission have assured me here in this committee that this legislation will not affect the, the activities of our groceries code adjudicator in the United Kingdom. But then I'm told, uh, I think by one of these lobbyists, that DEFRA, the Department of Agriculture in Britain, if this legislation goes through, are going to have to increase the staff of the groceries code adjudicator from two to 50, indicating that it's going to be an awful lot of work and that our groceries code adjudicator is going to have to be looking over her shoulder all the time to see if she's complying with EU law instead of applying the sort of soft touch that, that she does. Finally, I'm not sure if you mentioned it, but one of the biggest problems here is what I call lopsided contracts, where the, the retailer can dump uh, the processor or the farmer, for want of a better word, at the drop of a hat, whereas the supplier may have to give a year's notice of doing so. Thank you. Ms. McIntyre also mentioned the adjudicator, adjudicator in the UK, that was also uh, mentioned by Mr. Anu. Um, these are important developments, uh, having adjudicators, but Mr. Anu also said, that, remember, the resources that have to be put into those things. So the adjudicator must have the resources to do that, must have the, the, the knowledge to do that, and must do something which is practical, <coughs> must be practical. So that's why, for instance, we very much welcome um, a light system of cooperation, so where member, member countries uh, keep reporting with their own experiences, they share those experiences. We, are not as, we, we, we don't want to be an enforcer. So we are an enforcer in competition because we have a long experience. We have been the, the main enforcer of competition in the, in, the, in the Union. But when it comes to UTPs, you guys, you member states, have much more experience, experience than we have. As I said, we propose a starting point, and you can go over and above it.